of smiling faces in here. And uh, I'm thankful to be here once again and appreciate it for Lori for reaching out. And I'm excited for, for everyone in the room. So, you know, y'all would see these sayings. And one saying that I heard was, many are called, but few are chosen. So I had to fact check the, 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 the phrase because I, I, I had heard it. But when I located it in the Bible, I always wondered how did they select those few that were chosen? Well, when I was reading Matthew 22, 14, it didn't tell me how they select those few that were chosen. So I was assuming either they were the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, or they just didn't know any better. So when it comes down to this particular visionary campaign of the man and the woman of the year, there are many people called, there are many people nominated. I'm sure Lori sat down with a lot of different people that had the idea of doing this, but only a few were chosen. I believe that was Greg, Cody, and, and Shannon. So y'all are that few. So I'm hoping y'all are big, stronger, fast, or y'all just don't know any better. <laughs> y'all can get away from Lori. <laughs> but no, I'll, I'll just say, I, I believe we were chosen for a reason, and I believe we either were directly or indirectly affected by cancer, and want to make your impact on cancer, um, the society, our, our society, other community, and you see this opportunity or this challenge to be man and woman of the year as an opportunity to be a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Because normally, most of the time, that chosen few, when you're a part of something that's bigger than you, is normally done by a chosen few, few people. People that make the changes, the people that shift stuff for it's only a chosen few that normally get a chance to do that. So I believe y'all are that chosen few. So, I wanted to commend you and congratulate you for being the chosen few. But I also want to warn you. <laughs> because when you're part of something that's bigger than you, it often requires something deeper inside of you. So along this journey, things are always going to happen that you don't expect. Things are going to come that's going to be challenges, difficulties, or, or adversity. So you just got to be aware of that right now and go ahead and accept it and own it and get ready to move along with it. So, Knowing that I've been in your shoes, I want to just give you a couple tips that help you along this journey. Y'all okay with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty simple. So first, first things first, control the controls. There are gonna be a lot of things you can't control. You can't control every difficult situation, every, everything that don't go as planned, everybody that said they was gonna do something didn't do it. But there are a couple things you can't control. First things first, your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. So. There's this old saying that we use in football all the time. If you study long, you study wrong. So when it comes down to your thoughts, if you're thinking about having an event, you're thinking about showing up, you're thinking about meeting people, you're thinking about asking people to donate, you're thinking about creating something so some people can come to it, just do it. If you study long, you study wrong. Second part of that, your feelings. When you're facing fear, just persevere. When you're facing fear, just persevere, because there's gonna be plenty of things that's gonna make you fearful of doing, fearful of asking somebody to donate again, fearful from following up, fearful from picking up the phone, fearful from showing up to this event, fearful for, for doing something and, and, and whatever the outcome you think might not be what you want on the other end, you may be fearful from doing it. So I just want to encourage you, whenever you're facing fear, just remember, persevere. Now, your actions. That's going to be pretty simple. It's the simplest thing you can do. Ask everybody all the time. Just ask everybody all the time, and this is why. If you don't ask, they won't give. If you don't invite, they won't show up. If you don't call, they won't answer. Right. If you don't email them, they can't reply. So you can control your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. Now, once you learn, realize how to control those controllables, the next thing you want to do, you want to minimize the variables. And that's gonna be one particular variable that all of y'all are gonna experience along this journey, and that's gonna be people you thought was gonna give, who do or do not, what you thought they were gonna give, and then when you thought they was gonna give. That's a variable you cannot control. So, how do you mitigate that variable? Ask everybody all the time. And this is why. Some will, some won't. So what? Keep asking. Now, once you realize how to control those controllables and you minimize those variables, it gets pretty simple. You just take massive action. Because this is what you're going to conclude 
a Monte Carlo situation. They're gonna be things that you say you're gonna do, you're gonna make this list, and then at some point along the way, you're gonna stop doing those things you said you was gonna do. So this is what I encourage you to do. Do the things you said you was gonna do every single day, plus that one thing that you don't want to do. So do the things you said you was gonna do every single day, plus that one thing you don't wanna do, because this is the kicker. Your breakthrough is in the don't want to do. That's gonna be separate. All the things you don't want to do, that's gonna make the difference. All the things you don't want to do is gonna get you the results you want. All the things you don't wanna do, it's gonna get you the outcome that you want at the end of the day. So if you can control the controllables, minimize the variables and take massive action, this journey is gonna go a whole lot better, smoother, and faster than what you probably think it's gonna go. And lastly, I wanna leave you with this, because I know everybody got these goals and these thoughts and, and these bright ideas. So I want to give you this little nugget. Along the way, when things get tough, because they will, maybe not right now, because it's day one. But day 35, <laughs> <laughs> when they get tough, they will, keep fighting. Along the way, probably about four, five, six weeks in, when things seem real stagnant, because it will. I had this event, I thought people was going to come, and nobody showed. Oh, I thought I was going to be at this point midway mark, and I'm not. When things get stagnant, just remember, keep moving. Keep doing the thing. Keep moving. And then, somewhere along this thing, you're going to have these goals, and you're going to have this deadline. And that deadline is going to slowly start to approach. And when you start seeing that deadline get closer, and you know where near where you want to be, start praying. Because <laughs> you're going to need all the help you can get. <laughs> But I seriously commend you and encourage you and just want you to realize this thing is so much bigger than you. And along this journey, it's gonna require something deeper in you. So don't feel like you need to hold back. Don't feel like um, you, you are shy or you're afraid to ask those people to, to, to come to those events or to, to donate or to get those things signed. Do it anyway because at the end of the day, it's not about you. You're part of something that's bigger than you that's gonna impact something way bigger than you. So I just wanna encourage you um, and commend you um, and just say, hey, enjoy the ride, enjoy the challenge, enjoy the adversities. And when it's all said and done, you're going to come out of this thing, and the people that you're going to benefit when you come out of this thing are going to be great off because you was a part of it. So I thank y'all for y'all time. I thank y'all for what y'all are doing. And that is my time. I'm Derek Furlow. God bless. Thank y'all for having me.